Um, I'm Joshua Durham. I'm a cardiologist with the Heart Clinic of San Antonio. Um, been in San Antonio since 2017. Um, however, this is my second time in San Antonio. Uh, I trained here while I was in the Air Force and then uh, went back to Virginia for a bit of time while I was uh, serving at Langley Air Force Base, and then once I left the Air Force, uh, came back home um, for, uh, well, came back to my wife's home, and then now it's my home too. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a general cardiologist. I have um, specializations in advanced cardiac imaging, so that means I uh, spend a lot of time with uh, echo and um, uh, cardiac CT, um, as well as some nuclear perfusion imaging uh, as well. Um, I, I'm a general cardiologist, so I see all types of uh, cases, so whether that's arrhythmia or valve cases um, or heart failure uh, or the traditional heart disease like blockages in heart vessels. Um, I also have special interest in kind of the intersection of cardiology and oncology, which is a kind of an emerging a field called oncocardiology, um, and that's uh, just keeping your heart healthy uh, through uh, cancer therapy. Well, anytime you have uh, chest pain uh, or discomfort, especially with exertion, um, that would prompt uh, a patient to call. Um, but even things like palpitations or lightheadedness, uh, almost passing out or passing out, uh, those are symptoms that really shouldn't be ignored that we should see. When you reach survivorship, when you've made it through chemotherapy and you're cancer-free, um, those survivors, the number one cause of death is actually cardiovascular disease. And so we want to see those folks. You know, if you're 10 years from breast cancer and radiation and chemotherapy, we want to see you. We want to make sure that everything is um, the way it should be. We don't want any surprises. So I'm, I'm very interested to see those patients. Um, any concerns um, or questions, uh, happy to happy to, to, to see and, and, and see if uh, we may need to make any interventions. The impact of chemotherapy on the heart is specific to your treatment. And so radiation has some risk. Uh, it's gotten better through the years, but it does have some risk. But usually that's 10 to 15 years later. Um, specific chemotherapy agents also have some risk. Some are immediate and some are minor. The good news is that it's not a black box. The folks that are at higher risk of cardiovascular disease through cancer are the same folks that are higher at, for cardiovascular uh, disease otherwise. These are our diabetics, our folks that are, um, that are overweight, that have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, have high family history. Those risk factors are still a risk factor. And those folks, when they have multiple risk factors plus cancer, do a little worse. And so those would be the folks I would, I would definitely want to pay attention to. But if you just have questions and you're not sure, um, give us a call. Um, happy to look everything over and uh, get a baseline screening and get a sense of what your risk is moving forward.